What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. It is another new release day. The same same thing. There's like four new releases today, guys. 2020 Tops Triple Threads Baseball 9 Box Inner Case Break Random Teams number one. And this is a early bird spot giveaway, so buy one of the first 18 spots to get entered to win a free spot. Remember, everybody gets a random team in the break. This is a lone inner case break. So good luck. Let's roll the dice. And this will be for the customer names, uh, the early bird in the teams. So six and a two for eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And boom, eight times. Danny, there you go, congratulations. You got a free spot just for being an early bird. There you go, eight times now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The final time. <clears throat> Sean, down to Brian. Now let's go eight times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twins down to the Miami Marlins. Sean with the Twins, Brian with the Orioles, Wesley with the Astros, Kang with the Indians, Danny with the Mets, Jack with the Dodgers, Brady with the Giants, Danny with the Rays, Deep Portia with the Pirates, John with the Mariners, Eric with the D-backs, William with the Yankees, Nancy with the Nationals, David H. Brewers, Deep Portia with the Royals, Chris with the Cardinals, John with the Tigers, AJ with the Boston Red Sox, Brian with the Cubs, Bledsoe that is, Richard Miller with the Phillies, Daniel Cohen with the Rangers, Nancy with the Rockies, Megan with the... Reds, Darren with the Braves, Steve Porter, you have the Padres, Christopher with the Blue Jays, Anthony with the White Sox, Wesley with the uh, Oakland A's, Christopher with the Angels, and Brian with the Miami Marlins. Probably like 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. They usually take a little bit of time. Those are empties. Are you all empties? I guess so if anybody wants to trade let me know Did you guys see, guys, that Stefan Gilmore uh, uh, tested positive for COVID, right? And he was, like, asymptomatic. But then there was photos circulating of him, like, talking right in front of Mahomes. You know, like, his helmet right to his face. And then, like, you know, they were, like, hugging each other and touching, like, you know, at the end of the game. I was like, oh, no. I was like, Mahomes goes down. The whole league goes down. Uh, well, this is a case break. I mean, it's, it's nine box cases, but... You can consider the inner because a whole master has 18. All right, trade one to close. And everything was, I mean, that's the one thing, look at, I love that the NFL was trying to be optimistic about all this, but remember, I mean, health officials tell you it takes up to 14 days potentially to show symptoms, right? And to test positive. I mean, the fact that, you know, it's only not even been a week and some time players are still testing positive, so some of these players, you know, might have had it, you know, right, with, with Cam Newton, but they just haven't shown symptoms or tested positive yet. It's only been less than a week. 
you know? And it's like medical officials tell you it takes up to 14 days, right? That's where they make you quarantine. So it's just like, man, at this rate, I mean, Patriots ended up playing because they thought everybody tested negative and they were good to go. And at the time, they may have tested negative. But yeah, that just shows you right there that, that, I mean, it just takes a couple days, right? And my thing is that, then see, it's, 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 it's more tough, though, when you kind of push back a game and cancel a game. Right? But my thing is that if, like, let's say the Titans can't play through this week and let's say the Patriots, because there's an outbreak, they should just, like, stop this week and just push back this season just like everybody else has. You know? Like, I, I, I don't see why that is a big deal. I mean, I get it. Football's such a physical sport. There's kind of no way to, to kind of push it back because people need to heal and rest up in the off season. But at the same time, like... If you still want this season to go on, you're going to have to push back weeks, right? But I guess it's... I mean, I guess it is money, but wouldn't it... Wouldn't it I guess would you still be losing money if you just push it back a week or two, right? Just to wait till everybody that was tested positive, like, is clean again? Like, I don't know. That's just me. I mean, if other sports were able to do it, especially, like, baseball and all of them that pushed it back and waited, I mean, I don't know why they can't do the same. Javier Baez to 199 or 149 and Jose Altuve to 275. Because at this point, if you push back the Titans again, I mean, what, are they going to have two weeks off? You know, that's kind of unfair advantage compared to other teams that haven't had any weeks off. I got Barry Larkin to 299 and Shogo to 25. And think about it. Imagine if Patrick Mahomes has a positive. I mean, not to say he won't rest up and, and heal right, and, and not heal right, but come back from from this. But, you know, his, his fiance, right? They just got engaged. She, like, announced that they're pregnant. It's just like, man, that can be even more dangerous. 36, Sunny Gray. And we have a redemption over there, so let's hide that right there really quick. So just base cards. We got Andrew Jones out of 18. Braves going to Darren. We got Nolan Arenado. Two out of three. How about that? Look at that patch. Three color patch. Nolan Arenado. Who has a Colorado Rockies? Nancy does. And then we have a redemption, guys. Congratulations. You're due to receive. A triple threads autograph symbol jumbo single jumbo. Relic Emerald Parallel of Luis Castillo for the Cincinnati Reds. So Megan with that one. There you go. Small text, but there it is right there. Our right, next one. Does this product have a mystery redemption? They usually, like, finest in there used to have mystery redemptions, but I don't know if they were still doing that. That's a good thing, Sam. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying. Like, the NFL, look, I get it. Everybody in this whole world is losing money, especially in the United States. But the NFL had money to create some type of bubble. And if and if it was about being away from family for too long, then you bring the family along. You know? If other sports could have done it. I know it's more accessible for basketball and maybe, well, baseball they didn't do it. But baseball could have been accessible because they have spring training. But I don't know. I feel like it is more tougher for football fields, right? Because you have to create, like, I don't know how many football fields. 
but if you really needed to, there's a lot of land in the United States that you can definitely use. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be an arena. You know, it, it could have just been something with some nice grass. You put something over it, right? And there you go. Boom, done. But I get it. They wanted to avoid doing that. But, I mean, the NBA bubble kind of shows you that it is basically the safest way. Jesus Lazardo. Triple relic here for the Washington Nationals, number to 18. Trey Turner, Victor Robles, and Juan Soto. Two redemptions here, guys. Let's go to live hit first. Paul DeJong, number to 36. We have two redemptions, guys. Good luck. Let's show you the first one. Base rookies and future phenoms autograph relic card. Parallel right there. Eloy Jimenez. Wow, for the White Sox. Let's see what this one is though, really quick. And that'll be at a 75. All right, we got another redemption. And we got Triple Threads Autograph Single Jumbo Relic. Shun Yamaguchi, Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays going to Christopher. A lot of redemptions to start us off, guys. Next box. So I think Triple Threats has one of the most beautiful base cards out there besides Tribute. I feel like the base cards in this stuff is always really nice. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 99. You guys see what Ronald Acuna Jr. did yesterday at a 275 Eloy? Dude is such a stud. Yeah, everything is... Well, no, that, not true. I think the base rookies and future phenoms are on card. But traditionally, everything is pretty much stickers. But um, if the redemption is coming, it's because they don't have the on card for it. I, I sh after yesterday, I would hope so, right, Pat? I mean, Acuna is such a stud. Like to, to think that some of his stuff was going down for a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, but what else did he do, Tyler? What else happened besides him getting hit by a pitch? Michael Conforto to 27. That's Mets going to Danny. It's your free spot. And Jonathan Daza, number to 50. I mean, he ain't lying, right? <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> Nick Solak, 2020 rookie, and there you go, that's an own card out of 75. Oh, that's right, remember that one? Yeah, that's right, Pat. It's looking better and better, that's right. I mean, obviously, he's a great investment, though. I mean, he's, as long as, you know, of course, no major injuries to him, he, he's going to be good for a while. Four out of nine, DJ LeMayu. I know, Pat. Did you see that? I hit four straight, um, right, for, for, for our out. I hit four straight uh, stained glasses by doing, you know, this. And I actually had found another box. And I told him, do you want the box in the back or do you want this one? Well, guess what? Someone else broke that last box later that night. And I pulled another stained glass. And it was Lamar Jackson. So if our out would have chose the other box, he would have had five in a row. <laughs> That's how crazy it was. I was nuts. And like I told people, like at 11. Uh, no, DJ was out of uh, 4 out of 9 for the Yankees. But I told people I was going to head out like around before like 11 ish, you know, because I was going to come in a little early today. But I was like, as long as you guys keep buying, I'll stay here. And then I ended up staying until like 1 30. Reese Hoskins, Ryan Sandberg. I know, that's what we're talking about. Those five that day. There was, two, what is it? One Gardner Minshew, one Drew Locke, two, two um, Russell Wilsons, and one Lamar Jackson. That was crazy. Oh, it was fun yesterday. Those sellers are really fun to break, too. That's Zach Moss Genesis, the Tom Brady. I know, it was like an extra two hours, but it's all good. I'm, I'm probably going to stay just as late tonight. I feel like today's going to be super, super busy. Kyle Rubin Jr. and Dave Winfield. So that's why I only came in a couple hours early today, instead of coming in like at 9 or something when I, like I usually do. So I'm, after this, I'm going to hand it off to Joe probably. He'll probably be here by then. And then um, get set up and go live at 2 o'clock over there. Did you also get my message on the McNabb, Pat? <laughs> I know, yeah, you've been... Well, hey, but you're just like the Dodgers, right? They're over there in Texas, and they're on your time. And you're over here on Cali time. Well, I ended up winning it, but <laughs> I was so mad that I had to go that high. Andres Munoz, little rookie, Jersey Auto on card, number to 65. Trent Grisham, four out of nine for the Padres. Advert Alzole, autograph, 9 out of 99 for the Cubs. Going to Brian Bledsoe. And Brandon Lowe to 27.
Rays. I was going to Danny. Alright, guys. Still have five boxes, guys. Five boxes. So, I'm thinking by the time I get done with this, guys, I think Joe's going to have to take over. So, he'll start to pick a team. I know, Pat. Well, that makes me a little happier. Is if I think I shipped it out already. So, um, but, um, if... If the guy does ship it out and send me the right McDab, then I'm a little happier because I definitely got that for a steal. But I, I, I'm not, not to say I overpaid for the Genesis, I mean for the Nebula, but I paid a lot more than I thought I had to. So yeah, it does kind of balance out. And thank you for that, Pat. I, I would have never found it. So thank you for that, man. Shohei Otani to 299, Kyle Lewis. Oh, well, that's still good, though, man. I mean, obviously, a Genesis is, is always always wanted, but still got some Burl stuff. Not too bad. We still, have, we still have plenty of boxes of that, too, so I think we'll still be doing a lot of sellers today, I believe. That stuff is just hot. It's hot. Kyle Lewis, rookie base, Mariners. Victor Robles, number to 18. No, no, all of the one that I put on there was from the electrical. And Alex Bregman to 36. Yeah, Kristen Yelich to 36. All right, we got another redemption. We got a Triple Threads autograph single jumbo relic parallel of Max Kepler for the Minnesota Twins. Come on, Max. Sign your autographs, man. Sean with that one. Also, I think my Miles Sanders comes to the shop today, too. Whew. It's gonna be a good day. Can you see? Uh... I did, Pat. Actually, it did come in the mail the other day. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, the uh, prism silver, correct, right? Ricky Henderson and Derek Cheater. Kyle Lewis, Ricky again, base. We got how about this that is a nice triple relic right there all mvps six out of 36 mike trout relic cody bellinger and christian yelich 
And that should be randomized. Jack has the Dodgers. Uh, Christopher with the Angels. And Brewers. David H. Cool little triple relic right there. And we got a Larry Walker. Five out of nine for the Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies with that one. Nancy. Walker Bueller out of 36 for the Dodgers. Cannot hear me, Ryan? It's pretty loud, right? Is that for everybody? I mean, I don't really have to, do I have to have it this close? Triple Threads Autograph Single Jumbo Relic of another one of Max Kepler. Maybe restart it, Ryan, or, I mean, maybe the volume's down for you on your end? But if you're, if you're chatting with me, should 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 be able to hear me. loud and clear okay I mean if there's one thing that I do like about tops redemptions that they give you the team on there so there's no debate like even if there wasn't a checklist you couldn't look at like you know for sure what team it's going that's kind of the cool thing for me. Jordan to 50. Max Scherzer. All right, let's see. I'm sorry, Ryan. It sounds fine to me on my phone. Nolan Ryan to 99 and Josh Donaldson. We got Miguel Cabrera, number to 18. Woo! How about a four out of nine of this guy? We were just talking about him. Ronald Acuna Jr., four out of nine. Triple relic and autograph. Lead off dingers. Darren with the Braves. That is a beaut. Bonus hits. Wow. How about this? 7 out of 27. Triple Relic and Auto. Yvonne Rodriguez, Adrian Beltre, and Elvis Andres. Texas Rangers going to Daniel Cohen. That was a nice little box right there. Very nice. Nice little Ronda Cunha. And a little Pete Alonso, five out of nine. And a redemption. We got Relic Emerald, parallel, 
single jumbo relic of Sunny Gray, Cincinnati Reds. It's going to Megan. All right, two more boxes, guys. Manny Machado to two ninety nine and Garrett Cole to ninety nine. Will Clark to two seventy five and Alex Bregman. Dansby Swanson, little triple relic, or actually one sing single relic. 236. Brian Reynolds, six out of nine. Uh, everything ships, Wesley. I believe so. Yeah, t t triple threads. I think we ship everything. Pirates. These base cards are too nice. Triple Threat Single Autograph Jumbo Relic Emerald Parallel of Sean Yamaguchi, Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, there's a lot of redemptions, unfortunately. Oh, this one's backwards. Base Rookies and Future Phenoms Autograph Relic Card Emerald. Which, what was Emerald again? Emeralds out of 50. Jesus Lazardo for the Oakland Athletics. Going to Wesley. Wesley Thomas. All right, last box, guys. Good luck. Last box. Ooh, this one feels, this one feels a little heavier. But not that much heavier. Let's see what we got. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just uh, playing myself. It does feel heavier, but it doesn't feel like a book. Sometimes you can tell right away. Bigger, it has like two jumbo relics. That's why Matt Chapman and Reggie Jackson. So I don't know if there's a white whale in here, but there usually is one white whale in a master case. This was a, a lone inner case, so there's no guarantee, of course. Barry Larkin at 275. Steven Strasberg.
And well, that's a Luis Robert base. Probably one of the nicer base cards. A Luis sighting. Anthony with that one. Oh, this one only had this only has one hit. Oh, maybe that's where there's three hits over there. Out of thirty eight. Yeah, if I remember correctly, white whales are one per master, and it's basically a printing plate autograph one on one. And like the plate's white, so I guess they named it White Whale. I don't know where the origin came from of that, but Well, here's a one of one though, not a white whale, but one of one, Gary Sanchez. Yankees. It's going to William. It's a one of one. And out of fifty, Eugenio Suarez for the Reds. It's going to Megan. This is actually too huge. What the hell? Alright. And there you go, guys. Tons of hits. Like I said, inner case breaks. One of one right there. Nice Louise Robert base. There was a lot of redemption, so that was kind of like the downside of this, I guess. Ronald Acuna Jr. out of 9 was very nice. So, triple relic, triple auto. But, very nice stuff, though, guys. Triple threads is always very popular. Again, this was just a lone inner case break. There was there was no master for this this random team. And if we do put up more, I'm sure we'll start off with a fresh master. But, um, <clears throat> appreciate it, guys. We have one randomizer to do here. And it is for this triple relic. Right here. Yeah, well, see, my thing is that I know D DT said it earlier, but a box did have an extra hit in here. So when we got, where was it at? We got this, this, and this all in the same box, right? Or I think it was a relic. I think it was these three. All right. So I guess technically it, it, it evened out, you know. Can't complain when they're missing an auto, but we can't complain also when we're getting an extra autograph. Or we have to complain, I guess, too, right? <laughs> so, I guess technically we did get that. We did get that uh, that extra hit there to kind of average it out and even it out. But but I'm sure, of course, this isn't the only product that every once in a while there's a missing auto or relic. Unfortunately, it just happens. Alrighty guys, so let's quickly get a little dice roller and a list randomizer going right here. And this is for Angels, Dodgers, and Brewers. Let's roll the dice and we got ourselves a 12 six and a six good luck one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve boom as it should be los doyers at the top after 12 times so that's gonna go to jack there you go man appreciate it guys jazbeescasebreaks.com